Hello, my name is Matt Sherwood and I am a technology teacher of middle school students. Today I'm going to be talking about making adjustments in a multi-layer photo project. And so this is actually a project one of my students made. It consists of six different layers. We have a tiger, some sunglasses on the cub, I'm going to leave those off, a lion cub, you can see him come and go, a spider up on the wall, a student on the ground, paying homage to uh, maybe Simba, I'm not sure, and then the background. So you can see that they're all separate at this point. And what I want to talk about is how to blend them together using the adjustments for brightness and contrast. So let's take a look at that. If I click on the brightness and contrast right now, it goes to my student. And I can try to make him blend with the picture. Too dark, too light, and we want to go for just right somewhere in the middle. Um, get there. His is probably uh, reasonably close to what you would expect to see in the picture to begin with. However, the other layers need some adjusting. So let's look at the tiger here in the background. You can see the tiger would be back in the shadows lurking. So I'm going to click on the tiger layer, move up to adjustments, choose brightness and contrast again, and I'm going for a much sort of a darker look here little bit more sinister increase the contrast the tad mostly move the brightness down and that way it looks like it's it's lurking in the shadows back there same would be true of the spider um, you can see if I turn the spider on and off it's a very dark section of the wall I'm going to click on that layer so that it's highlighted blue go back to my adjustments for brightness and contrast and these are the same settings that the tiger was on that probably is about right. Maybe turn it up just a tad or down or up. I don't know. Let's go down a tad and click OK. And then the one that really could stand to use some adjustments is this lion cub. The lion cub is a little too dark for the picture. You notice it's sitting in a pool of sunshine here coming through the roof of the cave. And it's going to look more realistic or at least more interesting if I adjust the brightness way up on this. So let's move the brightness here and it looks like he's just bathed in sunshine and almost looks like he's some sort of a a holy lion cub there but it continuously samples it as you make the adjustments you can kinda see I think that's about right Click OK and so simple as that I've taken a picture that is obviously made up of multiple layers and improved it it's it's not perfect it's certainly not magazine quality but it's it's fun to do and it's a good skill to know know how to make these adjustments. And so that is my simple little lesson for today. Thank you.